Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a quick mining guide on Brighter Shore. So if you guys are in the mind of Van Tuben, you've unlocked Miner. I'm currently level 12, and I want to showcase the fastest XP I found already in the early game. So in the early stages, you can see that you have mining, and you're going to want to actually bank these materials. And if you are going to want to bank, I'm actually going to be over here in the stalagmite nook, um, getting andesite. If you are trying to bank stone you're going to bank it here at the stone masonry room if you're going to bank the ore you're going to bank it in the goblin workshop we're going to go based on fully xp because there are alternative methods to leveling your mining you can also do the mine cart cave which at level 10 you can begin doing with flint so we're going to kind of compare both methods as well and uh, obviously i'm not going to compare the passive xp you would get with some of these mining experiences because again passive xp is insanely slow so we're not even going to put that on the board today but i will say these are methods that need to be kind of compared together so people know exactly how the fastest method of mining to uh you know get your mining experience up would be so let's start off with andesite Now, to be a full run, we do need to take into account how long it takes to actually get back to that area as well, because you're going to want to get back for multiple trips. So we're going to try to do this the fastest way possible by ignoring these floor tentacles. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if you guys don't know, if you stay one block away from these floor tentacles, they will not act up and attack you. So you won't actually be uh, getting slowed down in that regard. So here we go past the first floor. We got through. It's perfectly fine. Sometimes it's a little finicky. If you uh, left click a little too early, you will actually still get attacked. So um, we did make it back pretty quick. So we'll take that all into account as we start mining again. And let's get the XP's up on the board now. Okay, so now we are at the second way to actually earn XP through mining. And this is going to be called the Minecart Cave. You can actually see it here on the map in the northwest center uh, or section, I should say, of the Mine of Mantubin. Uh, so the first one we have is Mint, or sorry, Flint, not Mint, Flint, Minecart Work. We have the Iron Minecart Work. We have the Basalt Minecart Work, Limestone Minecart Work, and the Fossils Minecart Work. The only one we can do right now is the Flint. So let's compare this against the, you know, as the alternative method of training mining, how fast of XP can we get? So let's go right for it. We bring the old mine cart out. We got to make sure we're going the right way, of course, but uh, we'll do a couple runs and really make sure to uh, add this up and see what actually earns you the most XP. So we go right. And if you don't know the way to actually do these, you can do them in the wrong order at first. That slows down your XP. But as soon as you understand how it all works, it's very, very quick. You'll just stop here. He'll load it on up for you. I know a lot of you guys probably haven't done this specific little mini game, um, but it is a good way to actually earn XP as well as it gives you gold or um, you know currency instead of giving you materials if you're not looking to actually get your stonemason up or your smithing. I'm sure you could be a little more efficient with the clicks too, but I'm not going to be too crazy on that. Uh, again, the average on these is going to be what we're looking at very close to uh, what you would typically see as a most most players here we go to the top and we're good so we just turn this in you get a lot of xp it just takes a little bit of time so 672 mining xp and you get some gold as well so let's run back and do one more load and we'll know exactly what is going to earn us the most xp as we'll compare it here at the end of the video with xp per hour xp per minute and uh, kind of get an idea of which one you guys should be taking advantage of. Uh, it's interesting because I actually don't even know right now of making this video. So that's why exactly why I'm making the videos because I'm sure you guys don't either. And you probably don't want to get the calculator out and run these timers and look at timestamps and all that stuff. So I'm doing it for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this kind of content. If you do, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on as we're doing this. Uh, so here we are filling up the minecart yet again. Let me know if you guys like the direction of the game as well. It's a lot of profession leveling as well as uh, there's not too much related into social interaction quite yet. And that's something I'm excited to see if they do get more into that. Um, but here we go with the minecart yet again, getting our load, pushing it straight up to the top. 
So one thing to think about as well is if you've enchanted a pickaxe, I'm sure that doesn't get uh, taken into consideration when you are turning this in considering you're not using a pickaxe. I'm not sure on that though. So the flint option actually gives you more XP per hour by about 8,000 XP. That's quite a bit of XP. However, you do have to realize that you are not going to be getting any resources. You're just generating gold. And with that, you're going to have less experience overall because you're not going to have those ores ready to be smithed in the bank. So that's something to think about. And in this case, like I said, the stonemason was what I would be doing and I'm losing that XP because I am doing the minecart. So it's a trade-off, but it depends on what you're looking to do and what you're trying to gain experience in. This is definitely something that could be very beneficial if you're just trying to get your mining up as quickly as possible. The minecart does make sense. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you all in the next one.